Hello friends, I am Tushan Dakal. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn the concept of looping. First, we have to know what is looping. Looping is the process of executing the same program statement or block of program statement repeatedly for a specified number of times or till the given condition is satisfied. Loop structure is used to carry out looping. There are three types of looping. They are while loop, second is do while loop, while loop, do while loop and third one is for loop. Let's learn about while loop first. What do you mean by while loop? While loop executes the program statement repeatedly until the given condition is true. It checks condition first. If it finds true, then it executes the statement written in its body part. Body part Otherwise, it just gets out from the loop structure. So, this while loop is also known as entry control or pretest loop. After knowing what is while loop, let's learn the syntax of while loop. Syntax of while loop. What is the syntax of while loop? First, there is initialization. Initialization. Initialization after the keyword while is used with condition. After condition, we have to print the statements, statements, and then after increment or decrement. First initialization, then after while and condition, after that statement, we have to print the statement, and then after if it necessary, Either that is increment or decrement, we have to write after each statement and then after we have to close this loop. This is the syntax of while loop. Let's learn the flowchart of while loop. Flowchart. Flowchart of while loop. How we draw the flowchart of while loop? Let's learn. This is the entry part. After that, first, initialization. 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 After initialization, then after condition, check the condition, if the condition is false, it exists from the loop, if the condition is true, then after it prints the statement first, statements, and then after increment or decrement and then after it repeat till the condition is satisfied. This is the flowchart of while loop. And now we write a program in 
while loop using while loop to print C program for 10 times. Write a program in C to print C programming Ten times using while loop. Now let's start the program with the header file include stdio.h which is used for standard input output and the adapter include conio.h and then after let's begin the program with the main function always the program start with the main function and then after according to the syntax first we have to initialize int i is equal to 1 let's initialize the variable First, I in slice is 1. And then after all, we have to use the while keyword. And condition, I less than is equal to 10. Because we have to print C programming 10 times using while loop. That's why right. the condition is 10. And then after all, start the curly braces. And we have to print C programming for 10 times. That's why write down your printf. Printf C programming. And terminate this statement with semicolon. Whatever we write inside the curly braces that display on output. And then after, according to the syntax, initialization is done, while keyword with condition, after that, statement is print, and then after, increment or decrement, let's start, we have started from 1, and we have to reach up to 10, that's why the number increases, i is increased by 1, every time, after that, we close this loop, and outside the loop, outside the loop, we have to write get cs function and then close the program. But when we write this, after that, we have to use slash n for new line, otherwise it prints in same line. That's why, let's see the output. When you compile and run the program and then after it starts from 1, it check the condition, the first value is 1, 1 less than is equal to 10, it is true and then after it prints C programming. C programming. And then after slash n, it goes in next line and then after the value of i increase by 1. Now the value of i becomes 2. 2 less than is equal to 10. It is also true. And then after it prints the statement C programming second time. And again it goes in next line because there is slash n. That's why it comes in next line. After that the value of i increase by 1. 3 less than is equal to 10. It is true, that's why it print your C programming. Like this, it repeats until and unless the condition is satisfied. When, when the I value becomes 11, by increasing from 10, 10 plus 1, 11, and then after, when I value becomes 11, it checks the condition. 11 is less than is equal to 10, it is false. When it is false, it comes out from this loop. And then after, it terminates the program and it prints 
this 10 statement with C programming 10 times. We can print C programming 10 times. If we have to print 1 to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, instead of C programming, then in same program, we have to change, slightly change, so that we can print the number instead of this string. So, where to change? Let's see here. Other all condition is S it is first initialize, then after condition. After that, in statement, we have to write here percent D percent D slash N percent D slash N and then after print I. Percent D it is used to print the integer value to print the integer number to print the number without decimal format we have to use percent D to print the float dec with decimal we have to use percent F that's why slash N is used for next line and then after I is printed the value of I so if we print this First, i value is 1, i less than is equal to 10, it is true, that's why it print i, i means the value of i is 1, it print 1, and then after the value of i increase by 2, 2 less than is equal to 10, it is also true, and the value of i is 2, that's why it print 2, and then after again it repeat until the condition is satisfied, when the value of i becomes 11, it check the condition, 11 less than is equal to 10, it is false, that's why it comes out from this loop and then after it prints 1 to 10. But if you forget to write the slash n, then it prints 1 to 10, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 without any spacing. But if you put your slash t, it means there, then after after 1, it left the space of the tab 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you put your slash n, then after it prints in this format, in next line.